Hi Scorpios, and welcome to your September 2018 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to give you guys hopefully another amazing reading for your month ahead. And I am so happy to be coming to you this month. I'm really um, surprised, but also excited for what is coming up in your reading. I really feel like September is an extremely empowering and strong month for you where so much can change. Again, I'm so happy to be here. This is indeed my second year of providing these readings in this format. I started in September of 2016, so I feel definitely an extra a burst of energy coming into this month because I um, don't know how so much time passed um, and I don't know how it's already September of 2018. Um, it feels so surreal to me for time to have passed in the way that it has. Um, I guess we're kind of in a time warp or something, but yeah, I'm very thankful to the support of my fellow Scorpios. Um, you all have been very responsible for a lot of my views, private readings, donations, um, everything that has led me to be able to do this for two years and to be able to probably focus about 80% of my life on this endeavor, which has been this channel and this effort to bring um, some intuitive and hopefully self-empowering content in a free format. Um, so I am so thankful for Scorpios and so thankful for everyone, even if you're cross-watching for a Scorpio or even if you're just randomly watching a Scorpio video, I'm just very grateful and thankful. And despite me probably being able to just linger in that state of gratitude for probably the entirety of your reading, Scorpio, we definitely have business to get down to this month, so I'm going to go ahead and snap straight into your reading and um, tell you right off the bat that this month is a big month of change for you. For everyone, um, the energy has shifted so much in September. I was really surprised um, when I was doing the photos for this month as I really felt something different. And I've been trying to convey this to each and every sign that I've been reading for, that there is a very um, large and paramount shift in energy pretty much happening for all of humanity. And I really do see that Scorpio is channeling this in a very physical way. Um, I don't think that this is a month where you are just allowing this universal energy to play out on your microcosm cosmic life on the internal aspects of you, I really feel like changes and shifts are happening in every facet. So for those of you Scorpios who have been really needing a change, who have been really overwhelmed by something that feels unending and unmovable and something that you can't work with, September truly comes in to give you a power and ability to form your own reality and to make the choices that you need to make. I really don't feel like any Scorpios in September have to be sacrificing themselves to, you know, save money or to um, strengthen their bonds or relationships. The sense of self-martyrdom in Scorpio needs to pass in this month of September. You know, Scorpios, everything is here. Everything is here in September that you need to make the changes that you've wanted. You have an incredibly high dosage of Major Arcana energy. Um, also with very potent minor arcana, and I want to say smooth and seamless minor arcana as well. Um, you kind of have, again, extremely visceral energies as well as energies which give you a softness and sense of dexterity and ability. So every, everything is here. Um, the ability to change, the ability to move into a new format, to introduce a new template into your life, um, and also the ability to solidify and um, really grow strong in roots if you choose that as well. Overall, a new gate is opening, a new pathway is opening up to you. You have that really gorgeous Nine of Cups as your central theme, um, upright. I'm so happy about that because you are coming to sort of an energetic gatekeeper type of energy, I feel, in September. Um, you may sort of be asked, like, what is the password, you know, to move along, and you're going to know it. You're going to know what the password is this time. You're going to need to um, be honest with yourself about what the key to entering into the path or the journey that you have wanted for such a long time is, because you know it. There is such a deep inner knowing within Scorpio of what needs to be done this month that I feel has pervaded you for so long, because let's be honest, Scorpio, this Jupiter time period, Jupiter being in your sign, Jupiter and Scorpio, has not been for many Scorpios as benevolent as you might have expected. I know that a lot of us came in in the beginning of 2018 with sort of an expectation of, you know, Jupiter benevolence, luck, fortune, desires, goals, ambitions panning out, um, but it really has been an expansion of the 
poison in your life, I feel, for a lot of Scorpios, which can be good and ultimately is an incredible Jupiterian blessing. Again, you have to remember Jupiter is always some form of blessing, but I feel in Scorpio, it really has to expand the um, vicious aspects of your life for you to be able to see them and for you to be able to hear them, for you to be able to acknowledge them and transmute them into something which works in your favor and the favor of the, the universal favor of things. And that, that's something that Scorpio has to remember right now as well is what universal favor is. Sometimes no is an important answer. Sometimes negation, even if it's the negation of something that you really wanted, is the ultimate blessing because, you know, one door closes, another one opens, and you will find yourself on the path that you needed to be on, the path that gives you the ultimate bliss and blessing uh, through, I feel, being negated. And I think that that's a lot of what September introduces. You're going to truly see in September um, the bliss of the negation the bliss of what was negated to you over the beginning of this year, and for some of you, even the past four years. Um, I'm sensing uh, ever since 2015. So you have sort of, actually, and this is interesting, Scorpios, because your life has changed so much, it feels to me, since 2015. But 2015, I say about like summer 2015, so like um, July or August, I'm talking like Northern Hemisphere, but July or August of summer 2015, um, till now, I feel was one long linear cycle, even if it felt like you really dipped in and out. Um, and now things change. Things change in September Scorpio, undoubtedly. And it could be a small change. It could be like a molecular change. It could be um, an equal and opposite type of reaction happening deep within that starts to precipitate really strong reactions on the external plane. So what needs to change, Scorpio? If you can take some time really quickly in the beginning of September to list out what you need out of life, what you haven't gotten, what has been negated. And what I want you to do is rather than becoming despondent about what has been negated, I want you to really formulate and analyze what you can now receive on behalf of not getting what you expected. So for example, you um, don't get the promotion that you wanted. You don't get the um, sales that you wanted on your business. And that feels like a negation. I want you to go directly in to what that was for you and the situation that that created in your life. And I want you to see really clearly what that has introduced. Um, has that introduced a new type of um, strategizer within you, a new strategic orient a strategy oriented strategic person within and what can that person now introduce that the old you never could okay that's where the blessing is through the um, adversity that you experience develops a new type of character which can achieve unlike the other one ever could so definitely understanding what has been born within scorpio the tenacity the endurance the uh, expression oriented part of you that has been born and what does it need what does it want what do you truly want scorpio because you have to remember that when negation becomes a strong pillar in your life there is always an aspect of scorpio really going against themselves or really um you know wanting something you're like yeah that's what i need that's what i need to introduce in my life i've become ambitious or i've become wanting of something and when that inherently goes against you the universe is always going to negate that because scorpio is one of the um most self-serving signs of the zodiac not in a bad way you know cancer and scorpio i feel to be uh, and Leo, uh, the most self-serving signs of the Zodiac. Um, and it can sometimes turn into narcissism. Those signs can tend towards narcissism, but it's very important to be self-serving. Without, without serving yourself, Scorpio, you cannot give to anyone else. So something became very um, disconnected from what actually served you and willing to sacrifice the you for the thing or for the person, for the outcome. And when that happens in Scorpio, you know, negation follows. So find that formula um, moving into September, and you are going to really have something powerful because let's understand a little bit about what these next few months and chapters represent for you. So we have September, October, and November Scorpios of Jupiter and Scorpio. Three more months of that incredible uh, injection of energy. And a lot of you are probably like, it hasn't been very incredible. It's been quite daunting. And that that's what Jupiter, that's a good way to describe Jupiter and Scorpio, I feel, is like dauntless. It's a very dauntless type of energy. 
And um, a lot of us, you know, some Scorpios who are highly evolved have already reaped a lot of money, a lot of fame, a lot of progress. It's not been unheard of, but that is definitely a smaller percentile of Scorpio. Um, most Scorpios who I've been connecting with on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, reading for or um, connecting with in any way, uh, have been very overwhelmed by this period of time and have felt very small, becoming a uh, small feeling, which is odd because Jupiter is the biggest, <laughs> most expansive energy. And that has to be honored in some way. There has to be some type of growth, some type of expansion over the next three months, and utilization of the extreme power which Jupiter has introduced, because it is there. Um, so I need a lot of you to like make a plan or step into that strategic zone that you so enjoy. Um, it's not right for every Scorpio, but for those of you who it works for, really start strategizing how you can make a difference and how you can transform, very, very transformative energy over the next few months. This isn't a matter of, um, it's not really glamorous transformation. It's not really um, dire transformation or something that has to be a huge deal. It's very minute and it's very microcosmic. It's a small, almost molecular type of transformation that, as I said, precipitates a big shift in macrocosmic experience. So this isn't about what everyone may consider transformation is. This is really about the small things, Scorpio. Um, and that's sort of, you know, to get even deeper into it. Okay, we're really deep here now. Um, I think that a lot of Scorpios felt the transformative wave coming, you know, back at the end of 2017, and um, really tried to go big, like go big or go home. And that sort of um, created a really tall, swaying, energy that feels like a really tall skyscraper with a bad foundation, you know, so you're, the wind's blowing, and you're like swaying back and forth, and it feels like almost uh, agoraphobic to me, and you're like, oh my gosh, there's too much height, there's too much, too much uh, largesse here, and um, then there was kind of the fall from that, you know, and now you've I, sp I sense since about April, um, have sort of been planted on the ground from that fall, and now it's time to get back up and um, create something so wholesome to build higher on in a much more solid way. And any other messages before I get into the week to week? Um, I do feel like it's very possible to take something really far this month, Scorpio, and that's kind of a just random message coming up. There's really a possibility to go really far, really deep with something. Or also with someone, I feel for a lot of you, actually, this could really be taking a relationship to the next level. This could be um, trying to reforge something with someone from your past. I do feel like it's possible for closure actually to happen this month from something from a very long time ago. Um, so that'll be nice for a lot of you. I think that a lot of Scorpio's trauma cycle developed on behalf of lack of closure, um, which was kind of a... Uh, I want to say an illusion for a lot of Scorpios because closure is actually not closure. It's kind of a, an illusionary concept. Um, for some people it can. For a very small amount of people, closure can actually be closure. But um, I feel for a lot of Scorpios the trauma cycle existed because they wanted closure to reopen something. Um, but I do feel that true closure can happen in the month of September for a lot of you, as well as forgiveness from others. So for Scorpios who... Um, maybe feel like they did wrong somebody, I do think you can be forgiven this month, and I also think that that energy can release this month. Also, for Scorpios who feel like they couldn't get over a breakup or couldn't get past somebody, I truly, beautifully feel, Scorpio, that this month of September separates you from an energy which would not let go. What a beautiful ability to have during this time of the year as we do come closer to your time of the year your solar deposit, and that is something that I feel all Scorpios need in some way to give to themselves, is a disconnection from something that has never really let go before. Um, so really, really sit with that, Scorpio. What do I need to let go of? What do I need to disconnect from? What needs to let go of me? Try to affirm that, Scorpio, because sometimes Scorpio can willingly be held by the destructive energy of others. Because if someone does something wonderful for Scorpio, Scorpio doesn't forget. Scorpio never forgets when someone does something uh, really heroic or wonderful for them. So regardless of what that person does in the future, sometimes Scorpio can 
you know, be willing to hold on and be willing to forgive to a fault, you know, be loyal to a fault because of one nice action. Now is a time, Scorpio, where you can see clearly that you need to let go because people have changed. Um, not a time to think that people don't change, not a time to think that people are stagnant or fixed in nature. You can be quite fixed in nature, Scorpio. It's um, not too hard for you. But um, realize how you have changed. Realize how others have changed. And realize what changes may need to happen here and now. Okay? It's truly a gorgeous and beautiful energy that I'm feeling there. And I'm going to get into the week to week now and we'll see what else comes forward about that. In the first week of September, Scorpios, you have the Six of Cups rooted down by the Chariot. And to me, this feels like an energy that moves you out of the past and gives you that closure, as I was saying, or something just wraps up, something naturally ties itself up and moves forward. So if there ever was a time, Scorpio, to uh, reach out to someone from your past, it could work out for some of you. You could really make progress by extending an olive branch or by meeting someone halfway. Um, although I truly feel that it's more important that Scorpio gets met halfway, Scorpio, uh, it doesn't do well with reaching out to the past or with, um, it, or if someone doesn't want to be reached out to Scorpio and you kind of know that. We talked a lot about this last month. Um, for some reason, people see Scorpio quite antagonistically when it reaches to them from the future. Not always, not all Scorpios, but it seems to be a thing right now. So if someone reaches out to you, Scorpio, it's better. Um, otherwise, I do think that it can be more encouraged to make your own amends with the past in your own home or in your own sector rather than putting yourself vulnerably out because Scorpio is very vulnerable right now. You know, the health hasn't quite been what it needs to be, whether that be physically or energetically, vibrationally, usually all kind of... Um, uh, lines up together, you know, um, only if you're extremely healthy should you try to reach out to someone from your past. And I know that there's a bit of frustration there because the throat chakra to me has been the most um, issued chakra or the, the uh, strongest issues have been located in the throat for Scorpio. So there's a strong need to speak the truth. There's a strong need to um, bring peace or to even bring destruction, as it can be for some Scorpios, but you must bring peace this month, undoubtedly, and um, really be careful with how you communicate and how you um, phrase closures or connections with other people. Really think of being there in love and softness. Six of Cups is all about love, charity, mercy, and softness, and helping hands. So how can you help others this month? This is a good month to be charitable or a good month to be helpful in some way, um, but only in a way that feels like a progression for you. This isn't about a step backwards because that is rooted down by the chariot, as I keep saying, and um, only connecting to the past should only move you forward. That is the most important thing to take from that. Going back to the past is not to go backwards and to sort of like, you know, lay in that you, um, cocoon of the past, reaching out to the past should only make you move forward. No starting of relationships from the past, no, um, you know, rekindling of something which used to happen before, um, you know, and for some of you that will happen, but for most of you, it needs to move you forward. That's the message for sure. Week number two, you have the Three of Wands reversed, rooted down by Ace of Pentacles. So um, that's to me feeling more purpose-related and career-oriented the second week of September. Um, you're going to be thinking clearly about where your career is taking you, what you do that elicits a gift, or like what you're getting paid for, what you're being given for in life. Um, that is changing a little bit, and that is also supported to change this month, I feel, because there's a sense of Scorpio no longer striving for what they used to, or no longer um, setting out for the same ambitions or goals that came before. And I really think that you're being incredibly rewarded for that. I do feel that humble is good during this time, and I also feel that um, you see where you need to go in the direction that you need to take by looking to the side and by you know, pulling back a little bit, you know, not needing to be extremely ambitious or extremely future oriented, but rather present oriented and striving towards making your environment 
nurturing of you, okay? Because, um, and I don't, I can't really say specifically where that's coming from, but that's just the impression that I'm getting from those energies, is a need to, um, you know, not live in a really destructive place so you can like save a lot of money and pursue the goal that you wanted to, but rather living in a place or a structure or an environment that makes, that, that gives you what you've needed for a very long time. Because there is a sense of self-denial in Scorpio. There's a sense of, you know, I don't need much. I don't need a lavish setting or an indulgent way of life because I want that later and I'm going to have more later by taking from myself now. Um, you're being given something incredible in the second week of September, Scorpios, and I really think that you should spend it on you and spend it on the the nurturing of yourself not you know a frivolous useless something but something that really um helps you to continue on in a stronger way for a lot of you to me this does feel like moving um because you're moving into the third week with six of swords reversed rooted down by death reversed um that is a supported time to move or a supported time to strategize a move or a change in residence a change in location I also feel like it's a good time in like the second week of September as well to be budgeting that and to be thinking about like what all you need, what all you want, and really getting a clear logistical sense of what that entails and being able to in some way set those plans into motion in the third week because there is a strong desire for motion and movement in the third week of September, but at the same time it's reversed. So I do feel you're going to be a little bit blocked on really huge leaps or really huge changes but those changes are the roots of your motivation and don't allow any blockages or delays to inhibit the roots of your motion right now Scorpio because they are very important right now it's very important for Scorpio to be able to reattach onto something okay again I'm feeling like that summer period of time of 2015 like I know I've got to go I know I've got to make a change I know I've got to allow myself something allow myself motion that has to be reborn there I feel and as you're moving into the fourth week beautiful judgment rooted down by the full reversed it has to rise and bloom into something which is not destructive like it was last time this isn't about escapist fantasies this isn't about gambling or risking or lottery of love. You know, I'm going to fall in love with this person with the chance that they're going to be able to take me out of this existential crisis. None of that, Scorpio, that was last time. This You're getting an incredible gift from the universe starting in the second week after you have some type of closure in the first week of September. Incredible gift in the second week. Awesome desire for motion and rebearing rebearing renewal of the ability and the health and the desire to make a change and then the test i feel in the fourth week and probably the next few months until jupiter changes signs the test of giving yourself the routine giving yourself the solidity the structure and the lack of betrayal the lack of self-betrayal within this independence within this desire for motion to ultimately, Scorpio, prove to yourself that you can start over. You know, you can rise above. You can, you know, come past the difficult health problem. You can um, come past the relationship turmoil that you're still stuck in from a long time ago. You can come past the distressing, perturbing environment that you may have felt stuck in for a long time. This is a month of coming past. This is a month of transitioning out. The month of being given something from closure to money to clarity to opportunity. Okay, Scorpios. Really, really incredible, really benevolent. I feel like this energy is more energizing and more accustomed to creating new than, than what you've had in a very long time. So try to not... Um, Try to not extinguish this on account of proving something to yourself or like, no, I'm just going to, again, martyr myself and stay in the same situation because I have a bigger plan for a long time from now. Um, it's okay to an extent, you know, strategizing about the change within this period of time of Jupiter and Scorpio. So you have until about November to do something. And this, this isn't about illusions of grandeur, Scorpio. This isn't about, you know, yeah, I'm going to completely, um, you know, burn everything down in my past and start thriving again that will happen for some of you but it's not really the intention that you need to take the intention that needs to be assumed by scorpio is wholesome benevolence and peace through my ability to transform and rise above not 
not my cathartic desire to see others or my past burning in flames as I walk away strong and empowered. It's not that. It's really not. Um, that is part of the reason why the last few months have been so trying and visceral for you and not the best way because of that in the past. Um, and the and mainly the situations which that propels you into, you know, that relationship or that career that came very soon after the um, burning of the past. So embrace the past, distance yourself from it, make peace in that connection, but head towards the transformative new chapter that comes. You know, as I was saying, fourth week judgment rooted down by the fool reversed. Those two cards, they're in like symbiosis with each other. I like how one is reversed and one is upright. Um, both, to me, those are both new journey, new chapter, new path energies, you know? Um, so the move might be happening then. The transformation might be happening then. Um, but ultimately, with again, Knight of Cups as your central theme, um, you're gonna kind of come to a door or a there, there's going to be like a blocked energy that's there and you're going to come to it and as I was saying in the beginning you might sort of be asked like what's the password what is the key to moving through this and that's something that you have to generate on your own I can't really tell you what that is I may already know what that is but um, it's going to be important for Scorpio to assume it I don't think that I'm going to give that away for many of you for and for some of you it, it's okay to say I'm, I'm hearing from my guides that it's okay to say that for a lot of you it's that peaceful wholesomeness, you know, looking towards the future with peaceful wholesomeness and not frayed fear or um, lack of respect for who you once were and, you know, power desire. It's that peaceful wholesomeness in the face of a transition and desire that sees Scorpio truly shining and thriving moving forward and really inheriting some of the Jupiter benevolence, which is quite inevitable for most Scorpios as long as you can, because as long as you can take this month really Scorpio, because I, I feel that this energy that has come in this month is the most potent for 2018. I think that November will probably be another example of this when you have that um, movement. And, you know, probably I think the next the next few months are of one very strong chapter September, October, and November, because they, it's sort of the last quarter of um, Jupiter energy and the last um, the last rung of the journey there. So that's sort of going to feel probably like one month to you or one cycle. Um, but this beginning cycle of it, this first third of that is so potent and so decisive in what you get in the future. So anyway, Scorpios, I feel like this is probably a good place to conclude um, really just hold yourself, really allow yourself to be given what you need. Um, don't force things, don't um, push yourself too hard. Um, you know, a, maybe a little bit of pushing is okay, but you're going to have a very strong sense of what's too much and what's not enough. So really capitalize on that sense and nurture all aspects of you. You know, I mentioned earlier in the reading, you know, here, here I am going back into things. Um, I mentioned earlier in the reading something about... Um, becoming like like seeing this part of you that was like kind of weak from the past and sort of like ixing that out and becoming like the new you becomes so much stronger than it ever was i have to sort of correct that wording a little bit this is about completely nurturing all parts of you this isn't about um feeling stronger than a previous self this isn't about pushing things away and sort of um roughly disconnecting from certain parts of yourself this is about the whole picture and about truly loving all parts so that they truly grow and bloom and manifest into your higher self um so i apologize for that wording it's still like like the message is right but the wording came off a little bit like um like too sharp for what this energy is don't push yourself away don't um be upset or angry with who you are or what you've represented before Meet it, with, meet it with peace and with wholesomeness, and you will have an incredible evolution. But um, anyway, Scorpios, so great to be here this month. I so appreciate you listening and hearing what I've had to say. Um, again, I'm so thankful for uh, your comments, your likes, and your subscriptions. They're so helpful. Um, please comment below how long you've been watching. Um, like I said, it's my two-year anniversary, so I would love to hear um, if anyone from when I began back in September or even like January of 2016, like a hundred years ago, <laughs> when I did like a month's worth of readings a long, long time ago. I would love to hear if anyone's still here from that period of time. And um, 
be sure to comment like what you're going through and any um, recommendations you might have for other Scorpios. Like if you've sort of done this transformation or you've become peacefully wholesome, what have you done? I, I think that we can all benefit from hearing some positive experiences from other Scorpios. Uh, be sure to check the description box. I have a lot of links there. I have some like new types of links and stuff and like affiliate stuff for deals. It's a good way to support my channel. There's even a link that's like completely free that it's like it's it's a free way to support my channel. So be sure to check that out. I'm also on Patreon. Um, you can get these readings early and ad free and support my channel in that way too because um, ultimately these readings are free and um, there are advertisements, yes, but that is my goal is to keep this a free uh, content and you know that can be a challenge sometimes to understand how to be able to devote like I said 80% of my life to this while providing ultimately um, at the root of my uh, ordeal here I'm gonna call it a free product so anyway Scorpios that's uh, enough I'm just kind of rambling here because I do consider you all my friends and my connections but yes do check the description box below um, I should have some slots available for private readings if you want probably not many I can't do too many right now but um, much luck, much love, much light, much abundance, and take these next few months with power and uh, peaceful wholesomeness, Scorpios. We will be talking soon in October as it will be getting closer to your time of the year. Much love, Scorpios. Talk soon. Bye.